So in today's video, we're going to talk about the new search GPT and how to rank and get your websites to the top. And well, really, in this case, it's not the top, it's the answers, right? So to use the new ChatGPT search, you just need to go to the search bar here, right? And type in whatever the keyword you are using. So here is a random query here. I just came up with the best guitar for kids. So let's see the results. Okay, so you'll see different results for different queries, right? For this one, it's kind of more like a standard ChatGPT result, right? So you just, you just get the information, right? And you can see the link here is like very kind of difficult to read, isn't it? So you really have to be thinking, are people going to actually click onto this if they have all the answers here, right? But in this case, they might actually have buyer intent, right? So they'll be really wanting to, you know, buy this guitar. So maybe they will click on here. That'll be their next step. So we're going to talk about all about how to rank here, how to get here now in a second. Okay, so what you can see is, you know, the, the results are actually much better in Google. You can get just, you know, answers, you know, information straight away as opposed to searching through many different websites that may or may not have good information okay and you can see the sources are down here you can click on this if you want to see you know like the search engine results page and click to the different links okay so it just this is just brand new so i just put down all my thoughts right so first of all we need to think we need to change how we think about search rankings okay so it's no longer position one two or three right so it's not really like one two it's like people will just be reading through this and they might just pick one of these at random oftentimes it is the same links that you know in some cases there's not a lot of information about it. it'll just be like link one is there link two like in this case here as well we have guitar world here we have guitar world here okay so people will be just you know randomly reading and then kind of go okay i'll go here and then click on that so the position one two or three is like less important now all we need to do is get in the answer right that's the most important thing right so i do think outward clicks might go down right it depends like in this query here you can imagine a lot of people will click through right so you have to think about the person clicking through at this point, and I think they'll be more in navigational mode, right? So what are they actually gonna be looking for, right? They might be looking for further information, right? So it might link through to your blog post. So obviously, you know, you want to have all the information there. They might be looking to buy something, make it easy for them to buy something. And they might be looking to find out who you are, right? So if in this case, you know, you're, you're asking something, this kind of, it, it gives you the information, right? But now you, you're you kind of thinking, do I trust this information, right? So trust is gonna be super important, right? On your website, right? So you have to make sure that you show who you are, show you're an expert, right? And that could be through video or images of yourself playing the guitar in this case or whatever the case may be. So yeah, just make it easy to find stuff, right? I mean, Google has also been doing this for some time, you know, making sure that the navigation that everyone, the users can actually click through and use this. It's called user experience, right? And it's becoming more and more important in terms of SEO and getting people to use your website and coming at the top of Google as well. So time on page is also super important to Google. Not so important here, but Google is definitely checking if people are interested in your stuff a bit, a bit the way that YouTube works, okay? You know, people, the longer people watch your videos, the better, right? So let's get on to some tips, right? So we'll start with some tips for longer term growth and then go on to a little bit short term hacks, if you will. But let's think about longer term, right? I, I'm kind of tired of trying to game the system myself. So what we really need to think is <laughs> for long term growth is we need to add something to the conversation, right? Google is also doing this as well. They call it, we call it information gain, right? Where you add something new that nobody else has actually done, right? And then you know, you can imagine one paragraph being the standard advice and then your paragraph in ChatGPT can be, you know, I think this is blah, 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 and ChatGPT will take that account, right? So also you need to create content that can't be created by ChatGPT, right? So what you can see is ChatGPT is very text heavy, right? So obviously you have to think of other, other types of content, right? Multimedia content, but let's look at some examples now. So some examples will be editorial commentary right so you know this kind of idea of being the synthesizer right you bring together all the different guitars like the website we saw in guitar world they brought all the stuff together right and you know people want to see all the different types of guitar and the commentary right so you know it could be talking to the camera like me or any sort of text right where you're saying i tried this this one was good this one wasn't good for 
all that stuff which is important with Google as well, right? Videos becoming more and more important with this type of thing, right? Because, you know, people aren't going to, you know, read your stuff as much if, you know, they can watch a video. It depends, obviously, on the topic, right? Custom graphics, right? Sometimes an image, you know, with a custom graphic can really help. So I'll just show you how that works now. So if you think about the way that we process information as humans, you know, sometimes it can be hard to kind of get all this into your head. So I use a tool called Napkin here and it seems to be free so far, right? So we just need to copy it in here and then click here and then we'll get a custom graphic of this information. Okay, so I just choose one of these and then you can see this has actually decided that this was about content media and comprehensive media strategy. And this has just done this exactly for me, right? And this can be kind of an easier way to understand the information that we saw and ChatGPT saw. So, you know, this is a really good way to add custom images to your website created with AI, okay? So next thing is tools, apps, and courses, right? Those things that, you know, okay, they can be, can, they can be created with ChatGPT, but obviously it would take more in depth and, you know, curated by an expert, right? So all of these things are just ways of creating really excellent content for your website. So let's just think about some optimization tips, right? And gaming the system. Okay, I don't really think it's gaming the system, but you know, this is kind of short term. Also what you should be thinking about how LLMs work, NLP. So it's just kind of, you know, the text, the autocomplete, right? Is like the best guitar is, and then, you know, it will make predictions about what it sees, what it thinks is the best guitar, you know, based on the amount of times it's seen it, maybe some other information as well. So you need to be thinking about your keywords like this, the best guitar for kids is blank, okay? So it will choose Yamaha, it will choose whatever, Fender, whatever the guitar brands, it'll pick as the answer, right? Because it's just predicting the next word, right? It's getting all the information and predicting the next word. So your website should have the best guitar for kids is your brand, right? In this case, I just put Yamaha and in the heading, in the title, wherever, I mean, this is basic SEO as well that you should put this in and put it at the top, the first paragraph, all this stuff, right? So, and also answer direct questions directly, no fluff. I think that's kind of one of my main reasons for success in SEO. I've had, you know, 10, 20 million people read my blog post basically because I answer the questions directly and simply so that the computer can understand, but the person can also understand as well. So you have to make things simple, right? So what is it that we have to do then? So we have to get, you know, let's say we, we are Yamaha, right? So we say the best guitar for web kids is Yamaha. Okay, we want that on our website, but we also want it around the web because, you know, Search GPT is going to be checking all around the, the web for this stuff. So what can we do? Well, we can use our, our network, our partners, all of that. We can also just use, you know, blogs like medium.com or publish quick blog posts if we're smaller people, right? We're not a big brand. We just post for free on these websites. And just the, the main purpose of this article is basically to put in your sentence, whatever the case may be, the best guitar for kids is Yamaha, right? So you want to have your keywords mentioned as many times as possible around the web, right? So just put it there for sake, okay? For example sake, so until ChatGPT understands that the best guitar for kids is Yamaha, right? So we don't need links as much, we need mentions of the answer phrases, right? So in this case, it could be your brand as well, right? My name's Connor Martin, so it's like, if I have, if I want to be an AI marketing expert, then I, I need to say that over and over again. It's like, Connor Martin is an AI marketing expert, right? And eventually ChatGPT will be like, okay, Connor Martin is an AI marketing expert, right? If you get me, if you get my drift, right? So it's not as important to have a link, but it's brand mentions. And Google has also gone this way as well, because so many people are, you know, gaming the system with backlinks and buying backlinks and selling that so they're just using their AI tools to understand the context about what is true right so I'll be testing all of this on my websites and adding the results into my AI SEO course which you can find here I'll link down below as well and yeah I hope you can have some success. I don't think it's all doom and gloom. I just think everything is changing, right? We just need to, you know, adapt to this new world of ChatGPT. Who knows how many people will search? It seems like today that there are a lot of people changing. I'm probably going to use, you know, Google 50% of the time, ChatGPT 50% of the time. I think that's the way, you know, my search is going to go. I don't know how other people are going to do. Probably a lot of people are not going to even hear about this. So Google will still have dominance, obviously, for some time. But it does seem that they're a little bit asleep at the wheel. 
I don't really think they're doing a very good job. And I know most people don't think they're doing a good job with the search engine, engine results, right? And ChatGPT definitely gives you better answers in most cases. Okay, so that's it for this video. Don't forget to check out the AI SEO course and subscribe to the channel if you want to see my results of all my tests that I'm going to be doing with all of this. I'm seeing a lot of success now with all of the testing that I'm doing. So what are you doing? You're here watching all of this important information. So subscribe to the channel. There's like 90% of people who are not subscribed. It's like, what What are you doing? I, I don't understand. You, you have to subscribe, right? That's it for this video. You can watch this video next and enjoy your day.